Like their sedan based cousins, Pro Stock bikes are the highest development of naturally aspirated stock appearing motorcycles. Pro bikes have differing minimum weight requirements depending on the specific type of engine used in competition. Just like in the car version of ProStock, an onboard race pack computer monitors critical engine functions such as engine RPM, wheel speed, air to fuel mixture and exhaust gas temperatures. The information is then downloaded to a computer inside the race transporter and is reviewed after each run to help mechanics make adjustments to the motorcycle. Again, this Andrew Championship drag racing category is all about the skill of the rider as much as the horsepower and tune-ups used. A slow reaction time off the start line or a missed gear shift usually results in a victory to your rival. Last season, Andrew Championship Drag Racing Pro Stock Motorcycle was really awesome to watch. Big fields, tight racing, but this man is a former national champ, and it's great to see him here at Western Sydney. Michael Gilbertson, looking forward to the season. Yeah, I am. It's going to be interesting. We've got a new bike, so a uh, little bit of work to do this meeting, but yeah, hopefully we'll get on the pace and we'll give him something to chase. Hogs Breath have sort of been flirting with the team the past season or so. Have they stepped up their commitment for this year? Oh, they have. Their commitment's always been there. They've been fantastic since the sort of first time I approached them. So, um, but yeah, no, they're in strong this year and, and uh, hopefully we'll do a good job for them. Yeah, it's a brand new bike. Uh, we had the, the chassis was built here in Australia by Dale Gilbert. It was a great chassis. Um, the engine come out of Vance and Hines in America, so pretty much the best engines we can get are in the bike. So, yeah, it should be good. So it's NHRA spec? It is, full NHRA spec bike. So. Um, same motors in this one, what they're running, sort of 6.9s and 7.0s in the States, so it should be good. To, to run a 6 second you need all the stars in the line, so, and you know, we're not going to spin the engine that hard that it's going to run 6s if all we really need to do is run 7.1s, so uh, even if we could, which I'm not sure if I could, um, I'd have to say no, we wouldn't be really trying to do that, not at the moment anyway. Early in the season, like here in Sydney, good air, but the track can be a little tricky, particularly as the track temp dies down, how do you get your head around that? Yeah, well at the moment I've got enough just trying to get my head around the bike because everything's so new. So uh, we've had a few issues with the data logger so far this weekend. So um, the track's not really a big issue for me at the moment because I've just got to get on top of the bike. So. Who are you keeping your eye on in terms of your rivals this season? Is there several or is there one or two standouts in your mind? Well. Look, there's probably four or five bikes in the bracket this year that can top qualify and win at any round. So um, I don't think we'll see like one bike dominate like we have in the last year or two because there's really a handful of bikes that have got all the latest, greatest gear now. So I think it'll be a lot closer. Um, I think uh, Dale Gilbert's got a fast package and Chris and, Cull Chris and Cullum Gadisi have also got a fast package and there's the Harley. So um, it's going to be tough. Let's take a look at Pro Stock Motorcycle, the final qualifying order at the AC Delco East Coast Nationals at Wizard. The cooling track made qualifying times a little tricky. In six is Peter Cochran, the Queenslander, on his SNS Buell machine. In five is Michael Gilbertson on the Hogs Breath Cafe combination. Graham Weston in four on the MSI machine. Jason Lee has taken the handlebars of the Dutch Master combination. He qualified in three. Your top two qualifiers in Pro Stock Motorcycle, the Sunoco entry of Morris Allen, and your top man is the Light Alloy Engineering entry of Callum Gadisi. Drama already at this Andrew Championship drag racing opener for Pro Stock Motorcycle. Callum Gadisi on the light, light alloy engineering machine, should I say, Rob Oberg had some trouble. Yes, certainly. After top qualifying, can't take part in the first round. Too much engine damage from that, uh, that absolutely near record performance. This is a beautiful matchup here. Peter the Punisher Cochran and Jason Lee for Dutch Master. Big matchup to kick off Pro Bike. Nice elapsed time. Bit of a nose over at the finish line though for Lee. A 7.34. Cochrane off it a bit with a 7.70. Yeah, you have a look there. Cochrane is just coming to grips with this uh, championship winning Buell. But I don't think it'll be too long before he gets on top of it. Jason Lee, on the other hand, straight as a die. And I think just eased off, as you said, across the finish line. 
bit of a sachet at the finish line as we move on to Michael Gilbertson. This Hogs Breath Cafe Suzuki combination, a big commitment this year. Graeme Weston for MSI. Love the paint scheme on this bike. The presentation in this category is always high. Now, Gilbo, he's got very high expectations with the Hogs Breath uh, Cafe backing. Big switch from Kawasaki to Suzuki. Let's see if it pays off. Gilbertson had the start line advantage, got off the racing groove big time. So Weston takes a bit of a lucky win, 7.51 in excess of 280Ks. Yeah, have a look at the horsepower here on the left-hand side of your screen. Gilbertson certainly got the power, but the bike just wanted to head out near the wall. You see it get into the shiny stuff, just not quite as much traction there as down the middle of the groove. He had to ease off the power and open the door. Yeah, that rider's right-hand lane at the moment here at Western Sydney International Dragway being a bit of a problem for some of these awesome pro-stock motorcycles. Morris Allen out there now on the Sunoco machine with a single or a solo pass. Oh, there's trouble there for Allen. It looked good early, lifted the front wheel, but a 771, that didn't look promising at all. Far from promising. I think what we're looking at here is a really good launch by uh, Morris, but then bang, and that's going to be expensive. Stick around after the break. We take a look at eliminations for Pro Stock, those awesome 750 kilowatt monsters. See you soon.